I am completely redeemed from the curse and the poverty because the Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9, that ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ who was rich, but he became poor for you so that you may be rich in Jesus Christ. You are even redeemed from the poverty. Well, don't reprimand me saying that you are preaching the prosperity gospel. You know, I'm bound to preach about prosperity gospel because Jesus Christ redeemed me from curse and the poverty. When your mind, when your mind is cloudy with the curse consciousness and the poverty consciousness and the failure consciousness, then your life would be fully occupied by curse and poverty. Pastor Frank asked me if I could tell how to become a millionaire. <laughs> but I tell you, I was making Korean people to think in terms of the freedom from the curse and the poverty. I was preaching to them and clearing their mind and let them see the cross of Jesus Christ and redeemed completely in their mind and thinking life. And as a proof, when you come to Korea, I'll show them to you. They are all well-to-do business people, tremendously successful, giving the tens of thousands or millions of dollars to the Lord's work because God has blessed them. I'm not just talking grandiloquently. I'm not babbler. I'm telling the truth because I've experienced in my ministry for 45 long years. And so I say, oh God, through Jesus, I'm redeemed from curse and poverty. I'm blessed person. I'm enriched and I'm abundantly blessed. And so I am constantly want to share this blessing with others. And I worship Jesus in such a way. Then I look up to Jesus once again as Jesus, through your blood, I've been redeemed from death and hell. Through your death, I die together. Through your resurrection, I have resurrected again. And through your ascension, I've been ascended to the right hand of God. So, God, I love you because even though I'm staying in my physical body in Korea, but spiritually, I have been resurrected together with you and I've been seated on the right hand of God right now. So I say, whenever I get out of this physical body, in a split second of moment, I'll be on the right hand of Heavenly Father through Jesus Christ. So, oh, I worship Jesus looking to his cross, our bronze brazen altar, and I see the redeeming grace flowing down to me and make me righteous, holy, healed, blessed, resurrected. So through repeating that prayer over and over again, I renew my mind. Because I, while I was living as an old man, as a child of Adam, my mind was so clogged up with a curse. I was having the sin consciousness and the filthy consciousness, unholy consciousness, and sickness consciousness, and defeatism consciousness, and death consciousness. My mind was totally de devastated by the devil and sin. But through Jesus, a new person who served in Christ Jesus is a new creature. All the things, especially where you law, all things has become new. So I renew my mind, worshiping Jesus, kneeling before him, looking to the cross. Then, through that prayer, I strengthen my faith. I become very strong. I say, I'm righteous in Jesus Christ. I'm righteous. I'm holy, sanctified. I have nothing to do with the filthy things in the world. By his stripes, I am healed. I am healed. I'm not under the control of sickness. I am a blessed person. God is pouring out his abundant blessing in my life. And I've been already resurrected together with Jesus Christ by faith. And glory of God 
is mine. And so through that worship session, I strengthen my faith and also I clarify my vision. Many people do not have clear vision. But through cross of Jesus Christ, I see my new person clearly in my vision. I see myself in my vision dream, the new person in Jesus Christ. That is me. That is me. So affirm my new identity. Many people are having an identity crisis. Many Christians, they have identity crisis. I say, who are you in Jesus? I don't know. My pastor knows. <laughs> If Christians get out of the identity crisis, they would become a tremendous tools of God. We have no identity crisis because through blood, we have been transferred from the sin to the righteousness. We have been transferred from the world and the devil to the Holy Spirit, to the throne of God. We have been translated from sickness and disease to the health and healing, translated from the poverty and the curse to the blessings and, uh, and uh, Abrahamic blessing. And we have tremendous experience of the having the citizenship in the glory. So we have no identity crisis. We should have a clear identity in our mind every second. And whatsoever things come against our identity, you should rebuke and cast out. Many people are so confused that they accept whatsoever comes upon you. When they will try to deliver wrong kind of the package, You should compare with your new identity, and if that does not identify with your new identity, you must say, you devil, get out of my place with your package. Do never sign your package every time. People, when devil comes and brings all kinds of the package, they sign and accept it. Thank you, devil. Goodbye. <laughs>